My top tips for tandem nursing. It's been seven months now that we've been tandem nursing. I have a seven month old baby boy and a two year old baby boy. I did another video, which I will link somewhere here, just talking about my experience, um, what kind of led me to tandem nurse my two little guys, and talking uh, just some like details about how it's been going and what we've been doing. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to give you some practical tips that have helped me out on a physical level, also on kind of an emotional, mental level with the whole tandem nursing thing. Because as much as breastfeeding is a total privilege and it is a really beautiful bonding experience between mother and baby, it can be challenging. It can be overwhelming. It can be very sometimes you don't want to do it you just don't want someone touching you and your babies want to be fed right now so it can have its trying frustrating moments at the same time but let's start with some physical tips and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about some emotional things that I think help me out water so basic anyone who does a breastfeeding video is gonna say drink water and stay hydrated but I'd like to argue it's not just good enough to drink water. <laughs> um, what kind of water are you drinking? Because if you're just drinking tap water or water that's not properly filtered, you either get a filter or you become a filter. Most of our water is full of chlorine, fluoride, all kinds of other substances which are not desirable and your body has to filter out. Also, what you consume hits your breast milk. So a trace element of that's gonna hit your breast milk and your baby has to filter it out. So it's very important to get clean, filtered water. Let's say you're using a reverse osmosis system, awesome. But now your water is depleted of minerals. So next step would be remineralizing your water. There's all kinds of remineralizing systems out there. Um, I use a Santivia. There's drops, there's a million different things you can do. Really just use Google. Good water filtration, good water remineralization. And then for me, usually once or twice a day, what I'll do to my water is add a pinch of sea salt, add a little lemon, so that I'm getting an extra boost of hydration and electrolytes in my water. Because holy moly, when you're breastfeeding, it's hard to just stay regular old hydrated. Um, why not use water that's gonna actually do the best job ever for you? Now also, for me, it depends on what I'm drinking out of. This is a cool glass orb. I also have a blue sparkly water bottle. Sometimes when I'm feeling extra hip hop, I drink out of a mason jar. And I find just switching up what I'm drinking out of keeps me interested, as silly as that might sound. And I'm just in the habit of constantly refilling that vessel all day. I'm not a huge fan of drinking water, but it's absolutely essential right now. Mm. So second to water, tea. And for myself, I find that every two or three days I need a tea that's going to support my milk production. I have decent milk production. My kids are both chunky and fat, so the one's exclusively breastfed. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like I could use a little extra boost. I like this particular tea. It's traditional medicinal organic mother's milk tea. There's different varieties. There's different herbal tinctures you can take. Disclaimer. In this video, I am not giving any med medical advice. Be sure to consult your healthcare practitioner before doing anything. So I'm just talking about things that have worked for me. I'm not saying you should do any of this. Breastfeeding tea. So that's been a savior for me. Um, with my first, when I first started breastfeeding, I brought this stuff to the hospital and you know, pretty much a few hours after birth was sipping on it and I totally feel my milk supply in all of its plentifulness was really attributed to, uh, yeah, this tea, help me out. In terms of other things I have found to really work and help me on a physical level, because again, just having enough minerals and vitamins and nutrients to get you through the day to support yourself, let alone a couple babies, just eating a healthy diet is not good enough for me. I need a little extra extra. A good calcium supplement, because obviously you're producing milk. And a good iron supplement. 
So this is what I like. I try all kinds of different brands, but I think my biggest tip with vitamins is do your research and invest in them because if you buy a cheap vitamin, the amount that you're going to absorb can be pathetically low. Just because you're taking vitamin C or iron doesn't mean your body, it's bioavailable for your body. So I'd rather spend a few bucks more on a good quality iron product. This particular one is a mega food product. It's from all um, natural food sources. It's vegan. I'm not vegan, but it's vegan. And it's also mixed with vitamin C, there's iron, there's folate, there's B12. And the absorbability of this, I feel is a lot better than some of the other iron products that I've taken that are just straight iron. So do your research and also listen to your body intuitively. Is that supplement working for you? Uh, calcium, this one is Platinum Naturals. I've tried also algae calcium, which I really liked, but make sure your calcium is mixed with magnesium and vitamin D for optimal absorption. And rule of thumb, you don't take these within four hours of each other. If you take them in under four hours, they'll block each other's absorption and you're peeing your money down the drain. So good iron, good calcium. Ooh, okay, I love this stuff. I just ordered this recently. It's called Symbiotica. It's premium, it's expensive, but your baby's brain or every human brain develops 80 to 85% within the first three years of life. So I personally feel investing in the best fish oil, algae oil, DHA product, you know, so, something in that realm is so essential. I think it's one of the most important nutrients I can provide for my babies right now. They get it through the breast milk and my toddler, I also give him shots of this. So I'll just show you up close, Symbiotica, and it's reinforced with, I can't say this word, ansazanthin. Ah, ansazanthin. It's a carotenoid so it's what um, makes carrots their color or flamingos and it's a super powerful antioxidant this is a really cool product but it's a dha oil again consumer beware when you're taking fish oils when you're taking um any products like that filtered is key our oceans they're toxic our fish are full of mercury and heavy metals and that's something my medical doctor told me when i was pregnant oh beware of fish oils because of mercury toxicity. Now, unfortunately, she forgot to mention you can find filtered fish products. I think she just didn't know. Um, that's where taking an algae oil is nice. There's less toxicity or something like this. My favorite filtered fish oil is Carlson and it's a Norwegian fish oil. They filter out um, kind of as much of the undesirables as possible. My last physical tip for the best milk ever is chlorella. So chlorella is a little superfood, it says. Antioxidant used for the maintenance of good health, helps to metabolize fats and proteins, helps in the maintenance of bones, cartilage, teeth, gums, connective tissue, and it's full of great minerals. So my naturopath gave me a really interesting study about moms who were taking chlorella. So you wanna to try to get broken cell wall chlorella. And these moms would take 500 milligrams in the morning, 500 milligrams at night. And it was showing that the chlorella helped to sweep out some of the toxicity out of their body and prevent it from dumping into the milk. Because unfortunately, what we consume hits our milk. Fortunately and unfortunately, living in this toxic world, it's hard to avoid heavy metals. It's hard to avoid pesticides, toxins in the air. So just taking something like chlorella, I've been taking it throughout my pregnancies, throughout my breastfeeding, just to help filter some of the junk away from my milk. So yeah, those are my physical tips. Um, lots of water, a supportive tea, good iron, good calcium, DHA, and chlorella. Now on an emotional level, and this is probably where the real struggle for me has come with tandem nursing. I enjoy breastfeeding and often can sit in a place of just being like, this is awesome, this is lovely. But at other times when both my babies are melting down, they're screaming because they're hungry. I have one baby on each boobie. Ah, it's so easy to just get into all that hyper agitated energy. 
and just coming back to a place of breathing and attempting to recenter. And, you know, it's really hard to do when your kids are tweaking and freaking and you're you know, holding them or you just don't feel like being touched in that moment and they're clamoring all over you. So just breathe. Inhale, exhale, come back to your breath. And even tap into an emotion like peace. All right, you know what? We are in a bubble of peace right now. Visualizing, for me, peace is this yellow fairy dust kind of energy and just enjoying whatever we're experiencing, whether it's one baby at a time or all three of us are hanging out, we're sitting in peace or we're sitting in love and just taking a moment to try to set the energy for that moment and switch what you're feeling. So instead of feeling that anger and frustration, um, coming back to a positive emotion because literally you're nourishing your baby on a physical level, but they're also emotionally and um, you know spiritually connecting with you through your breastfeeding experience. So yeah, that's my biggest tip for staying emotionally kind of grounded. And then the other thing I do is try to take a moment of gratitude every day. So for me, that's in the form of prayer. Every morning we do a family prayer and just give gratitude for each of the members in our family and um, I think this really helps because it can be so frustrating when you're just in the heat of dealing with babies, in the heat of dealing with toddlers, and sometimes it feels like every day is the same thing, you can't get anything done, but just to stop and whether it's meditation or you know prayer and just say thank you so much dear God for my beautiful babies, for the health that we have, for our breastfeeding journey, for whatever it is you're going through, but just setting your morning with gratitude for exactly where you're at in life. Easier said than done, but it helps set a tone for the day. And I find when I hit those frustrating moments, when I hit those bumps in the road, that little theme of gratitude that we started the day off with, it helps. It's effective. So there you go, mamas. I wish you peace and joy and... Uh, a wonderful experience in your tandem nursing journey.